if you are watching, you have just been Londonized. <laughs> anyway, I'm coming to talk to you about this 2010 VMA's fashion review. My statements stand as already put together before that I feel like this 2010's VMAs was far by far the worst VMAs that I have ever seen before. Anyway, with that being said, the fashion along with maybe three of the performances was the most inter interesting and intriguing portion of the entire show in my honest opinion. Now, you have Lady Gaga who wore some of the world's most interesting outfits of my taste you would never catch me nor someone that I know anything like that and that's a reality but she had on a black cock dress <laughs> y'all saw my, my statements and if you haven't watched the video just watch my VMA's review and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about she had on a black cock dress where they do that at? black cock dress she had on another cock dress at her arrival to the VMAs getting out of the limo and that was pretty interesting and I mean yeah to say the least then you have her showing up to receive one of her awards it was about her third or fourth one <laughs> for the night that she had received and then she showed up in some meat she showed up in a meat dress for real meat ribs prime she showed up in prime ribs she showed up with steak <laughs> lamb goat I don't know what kind of meat that was but it must have been big so she had to have she must have killed the whole cow and wrapped it around her and skinned it I mean what where they do that at can somebody inform me please the only thing she was missing was some A1 sauce. I want to know what butcher's meat shop that she robbed that she came in there with all of that meat hanging from her. And then I looked at her shoes and the shoes was covered in meat too. Where do they do that at? That she had... Uh... Anyway, another point that I want to talk about is some of the other interesting outfits that I saw at, at the awards. And there's one person I want to bring up I don't even remember her name and that's how unimportant she is to me um, but she is a celebrity of sorts <laughs> and this dumb chick wore a trash bag hold on let me get one so I can show you what she wore Tramp. her name is Kesha and she had on a trash bag that she got from Home Depot she walked up there with this mess. Hold on, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Let, can I get situated? Thank you. <laughs> she had this mess up like this. Pop up like this here. Like that. How I look? I asked you. I asked you a question. How I look? This is my VMA outfit. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Kesha, you as crazy as I don't know what. Do you understand me? We're going to try it another way, Kesha. As soon as I figure out how to get in this damn thing. This is what she looked like.
pray for me. Y'all know I ain't got no bit of sense. And this is what she looked like. She was standing up there like this. <laughs> now, and this all because of you, Gaga. It's your fault. I blame this whole, I blame this trash bag wearing mess on you. Now, we've had people in trash bags before, namely Missy Elliott. But, I blame this trash bag wearing mess on Miss Gaga. Why? Because we was calm, smooth, cool, collected. We was into Gucci and Louis Vuitton. And then Gaga shows up with these crazy outfits and now people have absolutely lost their darn mind. I even got me a trash bag bracelet. Now, <laughs> in other news, you have Miss Rihanna. Miss Rihanna shows up in this outfit to do her performance, which looks like an outfit that she stole from her My Size Barbie and wore it to the awards. What was that? I mean, is she in a fashion crisis? I don't know about you, but we went from a cock dress with Lady Gaga to Kasha in a trash bag to Rihanna in a My Size Barbie outfit. I don't know about you. But that just wasn't even right. And it's all because of you. Lady Gaga, I blame you. I blame you. Over and out. This is Michael London. Thank you for watching. Peace. Metropolis. I, I do this for the love, so this is non-profit shit I'm, I'm bored walking, so you can call this a monopoly Obviously, my approach to music ain't moderate As my macabre spins, I am the anomaly I love all my haters, cause my haters is what got me here